welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I've been gone for a long time, um, but I am back in school obtaining my degree in fashion design and I've been getting prepared for this pageant. As I told you guys before, I'm in the Miss New York USA pageant this year for 2018 and we are two weeks away from pageant weekend. So I've been prep prepping super hard getting myself prepared as this is my first pageant ever and yeah so i'm trying to make sure that i got everything together everything straight so that's what i've been uh busy doing but for today i'm back with another tutorial this is for the puffer jacket or the bubble jacket tutorial this is actually the first jacket that i've made um and you know with things that you make for the first time you're gonna find your flaws um and i definitely found my flaws in this jacket and that's why I'm going to make the second one. And, you know, when you find flaws in your work, you got to take time to analyze what you've done wrong and um, use that use that time to kind of figure out what I can do right for the next time. So I've used that time. That's why it took me so long to come out with this video. But I am ready. And today we're going to do part two. I'm going to do part two of this jacket for myself and part one for you guys so you guys can learn how to do it. We'll kind of be learning together because I'm going to try a different way than what I tried this time. So we'll kind of be learning together. I'll kind of be teaching myself how I can do this, how I can do that. Um, I'm actually going to be adding the collar to the top of the jacket. So I'll have the collar piece at the top. And let's get started. All right, guys. So what I did first is I lined up both my interfacing and the leather fabric um, together. I'm going to fold it over. Now you can, if you're going to do a crop jacket, I'm going to do this one a little bit longer because it is cold outside and I actually want to wear the jacket. Um, so if you want to do yours like a crop version, um, you can use a crop top pattern. You can use a regular t-shirt pattern. Um, but I'm going to be using a, like a puffer vest that, uh, that I've had that I got from like Old Navy. Um, I folded it up a little bit and I'm going to be using this actually as a pattern because it has the neck piece to it so I'm going to be using that as my pattern and this is actually going to be my back piece so you're just going to cut your back pattern out on the fold all right guys so this is how my back pattern turned out all right so that's what the back pattern looks like and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the same pattern, but it's not going to be on the fold. So you want two pieces for your front. This is going to make the front part of your jacket. So you're going to cut two pieces for the front. All right, guys. So as you can see, I went ahead and I cut out my two front pieces to the jacket. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my sleeve pattern. Now, I usually use just clothes that I have laying around the house. I don't use any store-bought patterns. So if you have a sleeve store-bought pattern, you can use that. If you have like an old jacket that you wouldn't mind cutting apart, I would cut out the sleeve to an old jacket and use that as a pattern. Um, I'm just going to use an old t-shirt sleeve and I'm going to um, add some extra uh, allowance to make it bigger of course this is not big enough but I'm going to use um, extra seam allowance and this is going to be my sleeve for my jacket all right so I cut out my sleeves for my jacket and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lining and I'm going to do the same exact thing we did for the front half of our jacket we're going to do the same thing for our lining but without the interface so you're just going to use your fabric that you choose for the lining cut that out make your back pattern and make your two front patterns and make your sleeve pattern
right guys so my lining is all cut out now this is the part where you're gonna need your either your measuring tape or your ruler um, I'm not gonna use it personally because I'm just being lazy um, so I'm just gonna eyeball it and go ahead and make my seams um, with my sewing machine so for example I know from the top of the neck piece to where the shoulder seam and the end of the neck meets up, that's three inches. So this is where, at the three inch mark, that's where my first seam is gonna be. So that's gonna be where I'm gonna fill in for my neck piece. Now, for the rest of it, I'm gonna do about four inches. So I know my next piece is gonna be four inches wide. So from there, you're gonna go ahead and mark your seam at four. And from that line, you're gonna mark your next seam at four, four, and four, all the way down to the bottom. Now, if you want it to be smaller, if you wanna have smaller seams, you're gonna go ahead and mark at whatever inch you would like. So if you want three inch seams all the way down, if you want five inch seams all the way down, seven inch seams all, seams all the way down, it's totally up to, the, to you, but I'm gonna use four inch seams going all the way down. Now, you're gonna do that to the back panel, you're gonna do that to your front panels, and you're gonna do that to your sleeves. guys so I'm finished with the back piece um, and what I wanted to tell you guys quickly is make sure you stitch the open seams closed leave a smidge bit maybe like this much of seam allowance at the top um, so you're gonna stitch this is the neck part so I'm gonna close this if you have seams that are going into your armholes, don't close it up yet because you still need to fill it with the polyfill. Um, and I'm also going to close the bottom. Close the bottom of the jacket up so I can fill that up with the polyfill. And you're going to repeat for the two front panels for your jacket and your sleeve. All right. So as you can see, I have my panels all set. And they are matching up and lining up nicely. You want to make sure all your panels match up nicely. Next, I'm going to do my sleeve. And I'm not going to do as many panels on the sleeve. I think I'm going to do about three. So, let's see. So I might do three seven inch panels going down the sleeve. So basically you're gonna do the same exact thing that you did for your jacket. You're gonna make a seam going all the way across, however many times you like on your sleeve. You can have more than three panels in your seam, um, on your sleeve, but I'm gonna do three. So I'm gonna make three seams going across my sleeve for both sleeves. All right guys, so my sleeves are sewn down as you can see. So before I start stuffing, I'm just going to go ahead and sew my lining together. So you're basically going to just sew all your seams in for your lining. Uh, sew your sleeve, insert your sleeve, and set your sleeve into the armhole. And after that, we can start stuffing your coat. Alright guys, so I 
just finished sewing the lining um, that's going to be in my jacket. Um, and next, we are going to start stuffing the jacket. So you're going to need your plush polyfill fibers. And let's start stuffing. All right, so what I'm going to do is you're going to take a little bit of the plush polyfill. It's the stuff that's inside of your coats. If you have like down jackets or whatever the case may be, you're going to just stuff it in there. Um, you don't want to stuff it too much because it's going to make it super big. I mean, if that's how you like it, then go ahead. But I learned that from my last jacket. I don't want it so puffy. I think this is good enough for me so this is what it's gonna look like and then you're just gonna do repeat for your back panel your back piece of your jacket and your two front uh, your two front patterns for your jacket you're gonna stuff you're gonna stuff your sleeve as well all right so everything I've um, stuffed with the polyfill here's one of my sleeves here is the back portion of the jacket. Um, and what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to take care of the sleeves first. I'm going to go ahead and um, sew down my sleeve just like how I would do with any other sleeve. So I'm going to take that sleeve, fold it over, pin all the way down, and sew both of them down. All right, guys, my sleeves are all done. And now I am going to just sew together my jacket and set in my sleeves. And then I will be back to insert the lining. All right, guys, so I have sewn my jacket together. This is what it should look like once you've sewn all your pieces together. Okay. Cute, right? That's what the inside should look like. So what we're going to do next is add the lining. And first, what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to match up the seams. So I'm going to match up these seams to the top. This is the neck part. This is the collar piece of my jacket. And this is the collar piece of my lining. So I'm going to match up the seams to my collar piece of my lining and the collar piece of my jacket. And I'm going to stitch right at that seam that we made at the top when we we're closing up our seams um, in the beginning. So right where this black seam is, I'm going to stitch along the top. My lining and my jacket are going to be stitched together at the top. All right, so here I stitched it down. This is my lining on this side. And I'm just going to flip. So remember, your lining is on the wrong side towards the back flip to the back of the jacket right now. So you're gonna flip it to the right side, to the inside of the jacket. Boop. And as you can see now, you have a nice, clean collar. Nice and clean. And then you're going to Take the sleeve of your lining and you're just going to flip it inside out into the sleeve, the armhole of your jacket. All right, so after you flip your lining sleeve into your jacket sleeve, 
the inside should look something like this. Now you can go ahead and hem your edges. Match up your edges at the bottom. Like so. Stitch across. And do the same thing. for the front of the jacket or if you want you can just I'm gonna actually cut some of this off because I made my lining a little too big in the inside but um, you can either go ahead and sew in your zipper or you can hem it first and then sew in your zipper all right so as you can see I hem the bottom of the jacket and now we're going to add the zipper. So here I have my zipper. This is the front of the zipper. I'm going to face it the opposite side, to the opposite side. Like so. So this is the back of the zipper. And I'm just going to place it at the seam of the jacket. Like so. So this is the raw edge of the front of my jacket. I'm going to flip the zipper once again. So this is the front of my zipper. I'm going to turn it to the back. I'm going to place that at the front center seam of the jacket. And I'm going to sew all the way down. And I'm going to do that for both sides. guys so final step once you're done sewing it to the front of the um, center seam the center opening you're gonna flip it in you're gonna flip the zipper in so it'll have a nice clean center seam you're gonna sew all the way down the front and there you have it guys, our puffer jacket bubble jacket is finally complete. It's a very tedious project. It will take you some time. So please take your time through it so you don't make any screw ups, so you don't want any mess ups, you want a flawless jacket. And uh, please feel free to comment down below and like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time for our next DIY.